Alright guys, what we're going to be tying is a uh, waltz worm, and uh, it's going to be tied on a size 14 nymph hook, or wet fly hook, and the thread we're going to be using is a uh, 8 dot unithread, uh, like a maroon or like a red wine color sort of thing, and what this fly basically is, is it's just dubbing on a hook but it works really well for different trout and uh, sometimes panfish and bass too at times so uh, you're just going to put your thread on and you're going to get your dubbing and the dubbing I use is uh, like it's like it's almost like an artificial dubbing which I think it is but it just has like materials in it that makes it really feel and like look natural it's by Delaware River Club I think it's south in like Maryland or something and they have a website that you could order this on and this dubbing is really good it's my favorite dubbing so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get some clumps of it and you're gonna dub it onto your thread and you probably want to put a little bit more on than you usually would because you want this fly to be a little thicker than most of your nymphs because you want it to have a big profile and usually fish when they're either fished in the fall or the spring or even winter they're looking for food and they want and they don't want to waste a lot of energy to get something small so if they're going to waste energy it's going to be on something big and you want to make it a little bit thicker. Once you get that down, you're going to get your dubbing and you're just going to wrap it on your hook. And you're going to overlap it at times because you want it to be thicker, like I said. So you're going to maybe get one more, probably one more dub. And sorry about downstairs. My mom thinks that she's a dog too. And you're going to do that and you just want to do it a little bit this time and you're just going to wrap forward and then you're just done right there it's, it's such a simple fly yet so deadly to fish and you're going to wrap it up with your whip finishing tool and you're done basically and once you do this you're like you could fish this fly as like a head fly for when you fish like other fi other um, nymphs and stuff like you fish this underneath an indicator with another backup fly behind it like almost like a hopper dropper sort of thing and the fly I use for it which is in another video I made is called the Jersey Joe and I can't find it and what I would do is I'd get six or seven X tippet and I'd fish these two flies behind each other, either in front of each other or behind each other. But I'd usually fish the Jersey Joe behind the waltz worm. And most of the time, they either take the Jersey Joe or the waltz worm, and that's what I would use. So, I would tie up a couple of these flies and try them on your five or four weight and see if you could hook into some trout. So that's what your finishing waltz worm looks like, and thanks for watching. Tight lines.